How's it going, you guys? My name is CJ, and welcome back to a brand new episode of I Play Minecraft. This is episode number 39. I think I got that one right this time. And today, we have some big things planned, but before we get into today's project, I wanted to address a comment slash concern slash critique that I have gotten quite a bit recently, and that is jump cuts in my videos. When I first started this channel about a month ago, I actually think it was about a month ago today, uh, I promised you guys <clears throat> that I would be trying to include everything possible in my episodes. But the more I watch stuff back, the more I realize that a lot of the grindy stuff is just boring to watch. But a lot of people kind of miss that more laid-back style of content, and so I'm going to try to do a good balance of both. Let me know in the comments of this video how I did, uh, because, you know, I genuinely want to make what you guys enjoy, but I also want to make what I enjoy. So I think that that could work out pretty well. Uh, right then, let's move on to today's project. But before we officially begin today's project, we have to add somebody new to the viewer appreciation wall. Let's head on up. Today, I am adding Emba Beats. Thank you so much for your comments. If you guys want to end up on this wall, make sure you guys leave a comment on this video and subscribe to the channel. And you could be the next one up on the viewer appreciation wall. With that out of the way, let's get into today's project. Today, I am going to be building a treehouse, as suggested by a few of you guys. Now, I could go all the way out to the jungle and do it out there, but I have decided to just build the treehouse in the overworld. I don't really feel like doing it out in the jungle. It's very far. It's a solid 5,000 block journey. Uh, and I don't really think building a minecart track all the way out that way is a good idea either. So I'm going to be building the treehouse here in my main area by using jungle saplings. Uh, and I think that it could look cool. It'll add another tall build to my area. And uh, we're going to be doing it just right up here in this spot. Up here, over by the pyramid and the zombie crypt and the fishing pond. Uh, and we're going to sort of expand out this way, maybe one or two more builds. And then I want to start focusing on more builds over there by the Pillager Tower. Uh, but yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing today. I had a little bit of a brain fart there, not going to lie. I'm going to put the first big jungle tree right here. And we'll just sort of see how this thing grows. Not bad. So I think that I want to put the second one... I'm going to expand the dirt out here just a little bit more. And I'll put the second one over here. Probably right about... Here, and we'll sort of connect the two together with a treehouse, but first I want to get rid of these leaves. Alright, leaves are gone. Let's go ahead and grow this second tree. And that looks pretty good. Alright, now we can actually get started on building this thing. I want the main entrance, so if I'm going to have the road come all the way up here, it's going to border this tree right here. So I want the main entrance to go on this side right here. So we'll go ahead and take our ladders, and we'll just start building up. Now, standing on a ladder and destroying these vines is not very fun. I could have brought my shears, actually. But you see, the problem is that the vines are on a different, I guess, plane, if that makes any sense. So, oh, shoot. So uh, if I'm climbing up the ladder and then I go onto the vines, I sink in. So if I put more ladders up here, I'll end up just getting stuck, which is not good. So I want to get rid of as many of these vines as I possibly can. I'm going to be putting the first layer of the treehouse right here. I think that this could be a pretty good spot. Uh, this isn't going to be the very top of the treehouse, but, you know, it'll just be sort of the first layer. And I'm just going to sort of try to plan out where I want the layers of this thing to go. So, like I said, the first one will go here, and then I think I'm going to do another one up above it. So we'll bring these... Oh, you can place them on the vines. Well, that's good to know now. <laughs> um, I'll do another one up here, and this will be the top of the treehouse. Very cool. I'll just sort of come around with wood like this. Uh, and if you guys haven't already seen, I do have a new Minecraft SMP that I'm a part of uh, called SMP Squared, and our main base is a treehouse. But I want to make this one, you know, a little bit different from that one. I don't want to feel like I'm repeating stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try to make this one as different as I can. So there is layer number two. And now we can go ahead and bridge out, or actually we'll do layer number three down here. We'll have one, two, and then right here will be the layer number three. If 
I can actually get up there. Perfect. And then from layer number three, we'll bridge out this way and connect it to the other tree. So this is basically how small I'm just going to have this first part here. And then from over here, I'm going to connect it over there with a bridge. Uh, but for right now, I'm going to go ahead and surround this thing in fences. Like so. And this will be the smallest section of the treehouse. Just sort of like a little, you know, bridging area over to that side, which is going to have a little bit of a bigger area. I'm going to use lanterns to light this thing up because I think that it would look very nice. And yes, indeed it does. Very cool. All right, now let's head on up to this layer and try to figure out what I want to do here. Now, the second floor here is going to be a little bit bigger than that first one. Uh, and that is because I am going to have a diving board right here that is going to lead into a natural spring uh, that I might make a river that actually goes down to the fishing pond. I think that that would be a really cool way to sort of uh, integrate this treehouse into the rest of my world. Maybe I can start trying to link some of these builds together. And man, that is an awesome view of the progress I've made so far. I just realized this treehouse is going to look great from all around the world. Uh, so that's super cool. But yeah, let me go ahead and put in... See, I don't want to break this because I don't want the tree to degrade at all. But let me go ahead and put in the fences... Of course, that part will remain open. Very nice. Now, this last layer here is actually going to be the smallest. That's just because it is going to pretty much only serve the purpose of being a lookout uh, and nothing more, nothing less. So let me go ahead and just get this part set up here. Uh, and it's okay to break leaves, I have discovered. That does not cause things to degrade, thank goodness. Now i got to figure out how I want this bridge to go, and it looks like I'm actually going to need some more slabs, so it's always a good idea just to have a crafting table wherever you're working. Uh, so I'm going to drop a crafting table right here, may as well, uh, and make some more slabs. Uh, that should be good. Uh, we're going to go ahead and bridge over this way and make another platform over on this tree over here. Because of the way the tree was placed, I did have to make the design of this bridge a little bit funky, but it doesn't look too bad so I'm not really that bothered by it but let me go ahead and finish putting in the last three lanterns and then for the main structure the treehouse is complete and boy does it give good views I'm actually gonna go ahead and kill this enderman while I'm here I am on the hunt for ender pearls so let me take care of this guy where'd you go where'd you go jerk where'd you go he's gonna jump scare me hello I want that grass block too Gimme, gimme. Awesome. Two ender pearls. Not bad at all. That actually looks pretty darn awesome. All right. I was a little worried about how it was going to look because the one on the SMP was sort of hastily thrown together, but I like it. That looks really, really cool. And of course, one of the SMP is a lot bigger because it's supposed to be a base. This is specifically just supposed to be a sort of lookout tower. Oh, I love it. I'm really in love with this build, you guys. Now that I finished the basic structure, I want to get this little, like, natural spring sort of thing in. And I also realize those fences are going to make it very scary to jump in, uh, but that's okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make the center of the spring right here. And, of course, it's just going to be an infinite water source, so that way I can pull water from here. Um, and then I'll go ahead and build the rest of the spring in just a little bit. But I guess i got to do some terraforming now, huh? Yeah, I probably should. Uh, go ahead and make this look a little bit more natural, especially because I am going to have a path coming down this way as well. Uh, so I'm definitely going to have to rework that a little bit. But of course, the entrance of the treehouse is there. Perfect. Jump off the diving board, go into the spring here, and then I'm going to have the river coming all the way down this way. Might have to remove this tree for now. I can always replant it if needed. Uh, that's actually good because I actually need more leaves, so I can just take the leaves off this one here. And then it will spill into right about here. So I'll build like a little bridge out of slabs or something where this spills in. And then that works out awesome. Okay, the basic trench for the river is now complete. So let me go ahead and get some water. And then we'll just sort of start filling this thing in as we go. Perfect. Can I use this as an infinite water source? I can. Awesome. That makes things super easy once I can start using the river itself as an infinite water source. I love physics. 
Minecraft physics. Went ahead and connected the river. Oh, let me grab all these extra leaves. Connected the river up with the fishing pond, which looks pretty darn awesome. I would come up here to the top of the river, and then this will be where the sort of, I guess, natural spring build. Is that what we're calling it? Something along those lines? Well, let me fill this up real quick, though, and then we can just sort of start digging. And then we can fill in the rest as needed. I think it's because I'm in the water. It was letting me dig. There we go. That should be fine. Yeah, so let me go ahead and fill in some water now. I was going to say, if that fills in the entire thing, that would be awesome. All right, perfect. And we'll do some over here. And we'll do some right there. Perfect. I guess we can go test it out now. It'd be really awkward if this is my first death. I don't think it's high enough to be considered a death, but I don't know. It would be funny. Here we go. Nice. That worked out. Super cool. All that's left for me to do now is to finish the pathway and connect this thing to the rest of my area, which shouldn't be too difficult, uh, but this is where it's going to get weird because I have to start considering slabs and stuff like that. Uh, so we'll do this. Then, we'll, of course, we'll have a slab thing there. So we would need dirt right here, and then this would go here, and slabs here, and this would go like this, and then this one here would go like this. Perfect. Not bad at all. Now I gotta terraform this to make it look a little bit more natural. I guess I'll come out here like that, and I'll do a little bit of this. That's not bad. That looks pretty good. What about this side? How's it looking over here? Could be better, that's for sure. That's not bad either. Okay, hey, that actually, uh, that works out. Cool. So now I am going to finish this build off by connecting the leaves. And then we'll do a little bit of torching up around the area. And it's looking pretty good. Nice. On top of lighting the area up, I also want to do a little bit of bone meal action. Just to make it look, you know, a little bit more natural around here. Definitely could not hurt. And then we can make the spring even look a little bit nicer, too, with some bone meal. Uh, I probably am going to do a build over here and then a build over there. And then we'll start focusing more on that side there. Uh, but I can make the spring look a little bit better. And the river look a little bit better. Because why not? So let me just go ahead and spruce this thing up as well. Oh, I didn't even realize that's how the water physics work. That's pretty cool. There we go. And then we will bone meal around the side of this as well. Hey, it's the old entrance to, uh, both old entrances to the zombie crypt. So I'm going to have to fix that at some point. I kind of forgot that that was even a concern. Okay, there we go. Yep, let's light this place up so we don't get a whole bunch of monsters spawning in this area. And it'll pretty much be done. Yeah, of course. Of course I got to deal with you right now. Because why not? There we go. That thing is looking pretty great. Let's take one final look from the very top lookout section of the treehouse, and then we'll end the episode there. Let's see what we're looking at. Oh, that is nice. That is super nice. I love it. And the river fits so well. Oh, that's great. Anyways, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe to the channel and check out another one of my videos. And I'll see you guys all in the next one.